Look closely at this elephant, it is using its long trunk to fling the pedestrians passing by. There has always been an amicable relationship between elephants and humans, so why would it do this? Some passers-by who know more about animal habits realize that it really seems to ask for help, so they follow it. They go to a well, which reveals that the elephant's baby has fallen into a deep pit. This is a well used to water the ground, more than two meters in diameter. Just enough to carry the elephant. The good thing is that the water inside is not much, not yet submerged its whole body. At this time, the baby elephant can still probe the trunk out of the water to breathe, however, in the process of falling, its head and tail were bruised. The skin above all rubbed off, looks very heartbreaking, the little guy hears its mother coming and seems to have brought helpers, so it keeps hissing for help, and the miserable voice seems to say, Mom, help me. But this well is six meters deep. And the weight of the little one is close to two tons, so it is not so easy to pull it out. The kind-hearted people are also very anxious. At this time, many villagers gather around, and some of them propose, why not ask professionals for help? So the villagers contact an animal rescue organization, and the rescue team that received the information quickly arrives. It seems that this kind of rescue happens often in this area. They get an excavator straight away to clear the roadblock and drive to the well and dig straight in. I have to say that this is indeed a good way. The excavator can dig a long channel along the side of the well, as long as the channel is dug deep enough. The little guy can climb out along the channel itself. During the idle period a kind person brings the sow from home and pours it directly on the wound of the little guy from above. Feeling a hint of relief, the baby elephant uses its trunk to apply the salve evenly. And then looks deeply at the kind man, as if to thank him. At this time the excavator has dug out a channel, the next step is to push down the brick wall. The little guy doesn't want to stay down there for a moment, and when it sees the excavator's shovel. It thinks it is going to save him to go out and keeps testing with its nose. At this point the driver stops working in order not to hurt it, and then starts pushing the wall when the little guy is not so excited, inevitably, some broken bricks will fall during construction. The smart little guy in the well below also constantly adjusts, tries to avoid secondary damage. Soon the dugout channel is more and more close to the small elephant, the operator of the excavator worries about the small elephant cannot climb out. He has been expanding the hole. At this time, the small elephant is also very smart, seeing the hole has been so close, there is hope of escape, it uses the trunk to explore the borrowed force to climb up. But during this process, due to accidentally get off some bricks, and smashes to itself, the elephant mother anxiously hisses on the side, and then the kind man above gives the little guy some medicine, like cheering it up. The little guy makes all the strength, but it still can't climb up. It's clear that the hole is still not low enough. At this time the excavator operator continues to dig down, the anxious little guy almost hurt itself by mistake. The experienced excavator operate widens the hole while the baby elephant's back is turned to him, and now the height has been level with the little guy. This time the little elephant easily climbs out, follows by the dug tunnel, does not turn back and does to its mother. The elephant mother hurriedly touches the baby elephant gently with its trunk to give it comfort. The rescuers bring a toolbox to help the baby elephant get a good bandage in order to prevent the injury from getting inflamed after returning to nature perhaps realizing that its child is no longer in danger, the mother elephant does not watch the bandaging process aside, but goes to the people's side with its trunk and interacts with everyone, like saying thank you. When it's the time to leave, the two elephants with their trunks to the crowd and rescue workers waving, has been reluctant to leave, repeatedly express their gratitude. 
In this story we are deeply infected by the maternal love of the mother elephant, it turns out that, maternal love, is not unique to humans, many animals also have it, that is one of the world's most selfless and moving love. And they often don't take for granted the help they receive in the face of humans. In their world, gratitude is also a mandatory course. The following story of a little monkey has also touched many people. A newborn baby monkey is accidentally trapped in a net and can't break free, while its mother is shouting anxiously. In such urgent moments, will it be able to escape? Let's go on. As the closest animals to humans, monkeys have a very high social nature. So it is common to see some monkeys running to human dwellings. And this little monkey in the picture is accidentally trapped by a net pulled up by humans, these nets are actually to block the animals from destroying the crops. However, this little monkey is inexperienced and is trapped at once. We can see that its body wrapped in a net. Several young men passing by hear the cries and immediately rescue it that I in a big tree not far from the little monkey, the monkey's mother is watching its child anxiously. But there is nothing it can do about this kind of trap set by humans. A young man takes out a sickle, the little monkey is immediately frightened and begins to flip violently. Perhaps it thinks the humans are trying to hurt it, and it keeps trying to resist. But its own hands are fixed by the two young men. The family of monkeys in the tree watch the humans intently, with their hearts in their throats. Perhaps they want to gamble that if they are trying to hurt the monkey, the monkeys would attack them at once. However, 10 minutes passed, the monkey family do not feel the hostility, but see that the two humans seem to be saving the little monkey. But because the delay is a bit long, and the little monkey constantly break free. Resulting in these nets have been dead stuck in the little monkey's body. The young man is extremely careful, he's afraid of hurting the little monkey accidentally. I in the process of rescue, the little monkey is still in a state of panic, constantly screaming. Which makes the young man has to speed up in his hands. After all, if the animal is in a state of shock for a long time, it is also very unfriendly to its health condition. In a short while, the net around the neck of the little monkey is removed. And it immediately tries to escape, but is grabbed back by the young man, because its feet are still trapped in the net. The little monkey cannot understand this and thinks that the young man does not want to let itself go. It is scared and doesn't know what to do. At this time the monkey's mother has jumped down from the tree and is waiting anxiously for its child under the tree. After checking out the little monkey with no trauma, the young man releases it, and its mother has been waiting for a long time. Holding the little monkey and running to the tree, and gives the young man a deep look when it is leaving, as if to express its gratitude, years later, perhaps the young man has forgotten his actions today, but for the little monkey perhaps that is a lifetime of kindness. So when the little monkey and its mother appear in the yard again, the young man is very surprised. Not only do they come, but they also bring a lot of fruits to him. The man is so pleased to see the little monkey thriving that he takes out food and treat them well. From then on, there seemed to be a friendship across races in this world. In human society, the ability to remember kindness may not be as long as animals, and there is no shortage of people who bite the hand that feeds one. Although the animal's gratitude does not bring any practical benefits, but the heart is the most precious. When animals are in danger, I hope that we can all do our best to lend a helping hand.